Okay, this video is going to cover how to create an interactive lesson with Google Slides. So first thing we want to do is actually open up our Google Slides. So you go to your waffle menu, click on Google Slides, and we're going to create a new blank presentation. So first thing we want to do is Again, you can customize this however you want. Um, but one of the most successful things that I've seen are sort of activities that look similar to this. So you will give a definition. We'll just say this is definition one. We can just copy these. Um, Edit, copy, edit, paste. This will be definition two. And then definition three. So we have a couple different definitions here um, for some different terms. So <clears throat> what we want to do now is create the terms. So again, grab your shapes tool, make a shape, and same thing. This is term A, and let's say this is term B. And this is term C. Okay, so we have our definitions, we have our terms. So <clears throat> what you'd want to do from this point, again, grab your terms, let's put them on the bottom. Again, I like to, you can use different colors, you can color code these. I usually make, you know, some sort of bright colors, but again, personal preference. This is just to really give you an idea of the concept behind this. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll paste one more of those terms here. Let's see. And we're going to change the color. We're going to delete the, the words in there. And let's change the color to like a, a dark gray. And we're going to move these. So, in front of our definitions here, so now what you're asking your students to do basically is take one of these terms, and we may have to order, so you're going to right click on the shape and you might have to change the order. We want to bring all of these shapes to the front. Order, bring to the front, order. That's very important because if, if you have your students trying to match these terms up and these are not in the front, they'll go behind these other shapes. So again, you have your definitions, you instruct your students take the terms below and match them with their correct definitions.